Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to try the um, Martha Stewart multi-surface marbling. And I'm using the marbling medium. And I'm going to use some pumpkin, some uh, iridescent kind of purple, some um, caterpillar, and some raspberry ice. And this is fabric, just a piece of muslin that I use for um, when I make my dolls in the backgrounds. And what I did was I took a piece of cardboard and I just kind of taped it on. So it's a little bit easier to deal with and to pick up, you know, other than the paper and, uh, or other than the fabric rather. So let's get to getting and see what we can do. So I'm gonna, I was wondering if I should have left it this big or done a smaller piece. So I'm gonna concentrate, I think just kind of in the middle. Um, and then I, I can always cut away if that makes sense. So I'm just going for it. And all I did was I put, it's one to two. So it's one uh, part paint to two parts of the medium. And you can get these at uh, Michael's and you can get them online at plaidonline.com. And I'm just gonna kind of do my thing here. And I'm, like I said, gonna kind of concentrate in the middle the best I can. And just drip it and do my thing. Now, a lot of you, I've gotten quite a few requests to use Mod Podge uh, as this technique and see how it uh, works out. So we will be doing that as well coming up in the next video for next week. I know so many of you are curious, so we will, you know, I love finding dupes and things. Okay. And then some pink. I think I'm just going to take pink down like this. All right. Okay. Now I have some, uh, I'm sticking. Okay. So now I have big popsicle sticks <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of, I want to swirl it. Do I want it this big though? Uh, I'll try it first. And I'm just going to swirl it. And see how it works. And pull in where you can. Now, obviously you can see I have, much um you know fabric showing in there so i'm gonna have to work some magic so i'm gonna turn it the opposite way and see if that does a little too much because i don't want it to mix too much i dig the swirling so i'm just gonna kind of lightly pull it i don't want to drag it uh, necessarily from the bottom of the fabric to make it too mixed but i mean i don't know we shall see because see i want to use this as a dress on one of my odd girls on one of my quilts okay and what i like is you can always go over you know like i, I can see that i'm kind of making it tie-dyed and i dig it i can always drip more on top like for instance here it's a little, you know, not muddled, but it's a little more blended than I want. So I can always go add more on top. And I probably would pour a little closer when I do it next time. Okay. Now, I don't know if I could get this to run. Oh yeah, I can get it to run. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Let's get it to run this way a little bit. I don't want it to blend too much, but all right, can you see? It's running. All right. I'm not hating, I'm not hating. Kind of moving it around a little bit. Going to give it a bang to help it. So 
So you can see, you can see it's marbled, right? Okay, so now you can see all this deliciousness here that I hate to give up. So I'm gonna try to kind of wear that there. And I'm gonna take a piece of paper. Where's my paper? Um, come on now, Kel. All the paper you have. All right. So I just have a piece here. And I just want to lightly tap it and lift it up. Okay, well, if you get some, you know, so it's not being wasted, I'm going to do the same. I don't want to rub it. I just kind of want to pat it up because it's going to mix enough. Not bad. I mean, it gave it some extra color, which I'm all about. shall set this over here for now and then I'm gonna wipe this up and then okay. just because it's I will tell you this does make things sticky I gotta put in tape there too a little bit of a mess today but that's okay it's just one of them days where life is just like Cal you should go back to bed and I'm like you know what no I'm not I'm going to go on with my day and I'm going to make the best day that I can. All right. So I'm digging this. Let me show you one more time before I put the other layers on. So you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So I want to add just a little bit more. And I only have, you know, a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of bloop. And instead of doing them all at once, I'm going to take a, I don't have my little pokey thing here. Where is it? I'm going to take a back of a paintbrush. Oh, Kelly, where's your back of your paintbrush? Let's do this one. Just to, you know, and I'm going to kind of just drag it through. And you don't have to drag it through if you don't want. You can leave it whatever way you want. I'm going to kind of try to bring some of this over a little further, just so it gives me a little bit more to work with when I go to cut it for a uh, dress on the doll. Okay. And I'll have to pour some over there. Not the end of the world. Probably should have used a smaller thing here. Let's see. Are you smaller? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to do a different color. Let me, oh, let me show you that. See, I get too excited and then I'm like, I forget what I'm doing. But can you see, you see what I'm saying now? So, I mean, that's a definite way to do it. Let's take, I don't have much green left, but we're going to do it. And let's do it. I'm going to hold it up high. And just drip, especially where I see it's a little darker than I might want it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, 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 uh. Throwing it down, that's my cats running around, playing in the morning like they always do. I thought they were supposed to sleep. Okay, so you see, you got that in there. And hey, who doesn't like a little singing? All right, there's a little bit more in here, so I'm gonna. Just kind of do this here, just so I can do my thing. And then again with the paintbrush. Now, I'm, you know what? I'm kind of digging the green the way it is. Where are my lights? This weather lately is just the, the sun. The sun goes in, it goes out. I don't know. I'm kind of digging those dots. I don't know. I don't know. I wish Emily was here so I could ask her, or you guys could answer me. Somebody, somebody. I wish I had a toothpick. That's what I really wish. Because that would be real, you know what I'm saying? But I don't. Maybe I only do some. I swear a bug almost just, I don't even know where the bug came from, but I think it almost went up my nose. I'm not even kidding. I know I'm not the only one in the world, right? That bugs sometimes will end up in your eyeball, like of all places. I have glasses most of the time on. I don't know. All right, I think that's all that I'm going to. Oh my God, it's trying to go up my nose, I think. Get away from me. 
got the windows open today. Okay, so this pink right here, I can't wait for Emily's boyfriend to come to fix my light again because I really screwed it up. I don't know what the heck I did. Plus, like I said, the, it's like it gets sunny out and then the sun comes in and then the sun goes away. And it's just like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so now I'm going to take some more of the purple. And I know I don't have much of this left. And I don't really want to add too much. Come on there, baby. Because, you know, it's it's dark and I might just put it on the edge and touch. You know what I mean? Let's just touch things, shall we? Who doesn't like to be touched sometimes? Me. I really don't like people touching me, but I know. When I meet people or I see people and they go to touch me, I'm like, I have to hold my breath because I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And I don't want to be mean. But what do you do? I mean, certain people I don't mind. I mean, my, obviously my husband and my daughter, but my nephew, uh, I'll let him do whatever he wants to me. Jump on me, kiss on me, slobber on me. That doesn't bother me. This stuff does dry quick, though. I'm going to let you know. All right, and I'm just dabbing for Angie. Dabbing for Angie. Just dabs for you, Angie. Angie's art channel. Go check it out. Or Angie on YouTube. You can go check her out there, too. She also does reviews. You can go check her out there, too. All right. All right, so I will wipe that off there. And the last color, oh my goodness, you bargained out my face. The last color is orange. And this will drip. And I'm just going to kind of. Try to add it. I don't want to add too many um, colors. Because I want it, I don't want it to become mud. And you can see there is a potential for it to become mud. And it's not the product, it's Kelly. <laughs> it's user because, you know, obviously the colors, you don't want to mix certain colors together because you will get mud. I always tell people, I, I get that asked quite a bit. And, you know, always try to stay with your primaries the best that you can. Um, because, like, you know, red and yellow will make orange, you know, colors that you can mix together. So if you put, if I put, excuse me, red and yellow on here, I know if it mixes, it's going to get a nice shade of orange in there. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's just how I do things. But everybody has their own gig and what they do. So do you, boo, do you. All right. So I'm just going to just swirl some of the orange in. And then some of the purple. And then just one more swirly poo. Yeah. Oh, see, that's a clump from a drying on there. I don't want a clump. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up, give it a tap, let it run. Let me show you this so far. You see how pretty? I can see what I don't like already, but I'm going to tap it and see if I can get those to run. I'm not hating on it. I probably hit it a little hard, but you can see it's all right. It's all right. Now I am going to, um, I wonder if I should mix a little, cause I really dig that green. I think purple. I put a little bit too much. Come here, green. Come see me. Let's just try to run you through with some dots. Uh, these purples, I'm kind of not digging so much. Just kind of running it. All right. Like I said, first time doing it on fabric, you know. Sometimes, you you know, I, the, one of the things I can guarantee you on my channel is that I am not going to sit. First of all, you know, my patience in editing does not really exist. And second of all, it, you know, if I do things, I want you guys to see good and bad. 
I want you to see like, mm, look what she did. That didn't work. I'm not going to do that because I don't want you wasting your time. And I want you to see like how far you can work with products and what you can do. I like getting bang for my buck. I like spending money and being able to use it in different ways than maybe what it was intended. And that's what I love to do. And I sit and do that a lot. I don't put everything up in videos uh, until, um, not that I'm perfect at it, but like, how do I explain it? You know, I'll sit, now I've not done the fabric, but what I've done is uh, looked and I have practiced obviously with the Martha Stewart marbling and I thought, okay, it goes on fabric, let's see what it does. All right, so I'm okay with that because remember, it's gonna be a, a dress, so I can turn it any way See, I'm digging down here. So this will probably be the bottom part of the dress. So do you see what I'm saying? Now, if you want to be a little bit more calculated at it, you definitely could um, cut the size out of your dress that you want for your doll or whatever you're doing uh, and do it that way. So I'm going to hit it. You guys asked if I could uh, dry it. You know, this could be dried with the heat gun or your hair dryer. Um, it doesn't. Well, what around as you can see. I have so many ideas. So I really wanted to do this. I got a lot of people asking and I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit and do this today because I have so many ideas in my head that I want to do with this. And like I said, keep your eyes open for the Mod Podge. Do to see if we can do it because I know you guys are asking for that as well. The one thing I like is as it dries, it does get brighter, and I'll show you that in a second. Obviously, I won't be able to dry all of it, you know, to uh, but I just want to show you. I just want to show, I swear that bug's just trying to get into my mouth. I swear to God, I swear to God. I don't know why, I just brushed my teeth. If you hear me choking, that's why. It got there. Batter up my nose and my eyes. I don't know where it's trying to go. And I don't like killing bugs, but it might have to be or the cat will come in you'll see my cat they're flying across the room they're the best fly catchers in the world okay i think that's all i'm going to torture you with well let me show you i'm not hating i'm not hating it at all i'm hating that lighting though let's see if i can show you can you see look at that Look how pretty it came out on the fabric. And you can see it's still damp. You know what I mean? It's still wet underneath. But I love it. So this is on just, like I said, regular, plain, untreated uh, muslin. So this is definitely, you'll be seeing me use this in a art quilt. I'm loving it. So I'm going to let it fully dry. Um, but yeah, so far on here, I will let you know what it feels like after it's dry. Um you know, probably in a video tomorrow or whatever, and I'll wait and I won't take it off or anything until, you know, on the video, I'll kind of do like a mashup video of a few things I have that you guys have been asking about. And I mean, look at it, not bad for fabric. Now I could have done the whole piece and make, done a mixed a little bit more. I didn't. Um, but now, like I said, I'll probably will, but in love, I'm in love with it. Keep your eyes out for the dupe coming up. We're going to see if it does the same thing. I'm going to probably do another piece of fabric and I will do, um, uh, what, what the heck did I do? Was it canvas? What did I do it on last time? Paper? I can't recall right the second, um, but I'll do it the same way. So y'all can see, you know, the same kind of thing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know, uh, if you have any other suggestions and, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video. Share me everywhere as well. I appreciate it. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.